Hey there guys, welcome back to Zenandaki and Adam, just Adam edition, where today I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn for you guys. Um, so, I forgot to turn on my microphone for the last three episodes, so there's no saving those, I've been told. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, whoops. Anyway, um, since we set out, we talked to this guy and we learned about some stuff. Um, basically what it boils down to is, uh, people are going missing from this place, and... <laughs> ah! Uh, goodness gracious me. People are going missing from this place, and we think that there is somebody masquerading as a priest of Thal. Um, luring people away and, uh, kidnapifying them. Ooh, cutscene. I'm afraid I have not seen any unusual activity, nor have any at this camp given me cause to doubt them, but unless we identify the culprit, and soon, more innocents will fall victim. Bancred, you did you appeared out of nowhere again! Do not despair just yet, my friend, and the day occurs to me. Our suspect has been posing as a priest, using leaflets bearing false promises to lure the poor. Let Seppo and me serve like with like Oh, serve like with like by posing as impoverished souls in need of succor. I'm sorry, I forgot that that was a phrase for a second. Anyway. Ah, I dare to hope that this will yield us the answers we seek. It'll be a dangerous undertaking, but you two are more than capable of looking after yourselves. I'm next to useless in battle, but I can supply the garments for the disguise. These old tunics and sloops should serve your needs, so long as you don't mind the smell and the stains. These will serve very well. You have my thanks. Listen, Seppo. So as to lay the foundation for our little ploy, we must make it widely known that more vagrants have arrived at camp and are desperate for coin. To this end, I want you to don the old garments as Isambard lent us and beg for work around the camp. Before long, the false priest should catch wind and approach us. Cool! We have a plan. Boy. Um, there we go. How do I? Ah, yes, got it. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. Ah! Okay. Yeah, give it. Damn it. Stop. <laughs> what you're doing? That shepherd have a really nice sword, hat, and boots. Yes, yes, he does. Hmm. Mm, you are hmm, another refugee by the looks of you. The immortal flames have neither work nor coin for your like. Be gone, and see to it you don't make a nuisance of yourself. Swain Hilt. I preach the teachings of Azema, the Warden. Hast thou come to partake of the honey of her wisdom? Azema is keeper of the sun and goddess of inquiry. All is laid bare beneath the light of her divine countenance. Open thy heart to this light, needy child, and thou shalt want for naught till the end of days. Here? Hey, there's someone. Greetings, good sir. Is there aught I can assist you with? 
Oh, I don't believe there is. I'm afraid our wares are very expensive. Mayhap you should rejoin your fellows out at the pond north of Sandgate. I feel like I meant... I, I feel like I read that meaner than it was supposed to sound. Oink. Oink. Adventurers care not for counters. Um, let's see here. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. In there. One word about my apron and you'll be on the menu. Alright. It's a good thing no one watches this show. Your secret is safe. Hey, there's something to talk to. <clears throat> and I was about to get to the good part. Looking for work, you say. Sorry, but we don't have any openings. Now get out of here so I can finish my story. I see it up there. There we go. Doink. Fences are for chumps. Aha! Talk to me, baby! If I'd cancelled. What is it? God's not again. Look, being poor doesn't give you the right to pester whomsoever you like. Why don't you keep your own... <laughs> Why don't you keep with your own kind out by that muddy pond of yours at Drybone? Alright, let's... Put back on my uh, red mage, um, like this. I don't. Mm, I don't want to wear red. Yep. That's better. Feel better. Gotta be a red mage. All right, now I go talk to Thandred. You have quite a night knack for giving nuisance. The camp is abuzz with talk of newly alive vagrants. Yeah. Stretch. Okay. And though we were unable to attract our wayward transgressor, we were able to learn that the poor have a commune by the pond north of Sandgate, to the east of here. The eyes of the authorities do not reach that place. Rather ideal for spiriting away hapless souls. Let us go there and wait for the kindly priest to come and offer us aid and comfort. Needless to say, you'll need to remain in disguise. God damn it! I just put my clothes back on. Going up. Let's run. Uh, 
moldy pudding. Hmm, camera went a little bit wonky there. Crush them, you say? I'm good at crushing. Oh, right, I need to level sync. Do, 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 do. Invalid for fuck's sake. All right. No, don't wanna. Fuck's sake. I don't wanna target that. All right, who's dying next? All right. Would you get out of here? I'm very salty about things. Killing these beast men. I cower behind no walls. Dang it, you guys are in the way. Ooh, there's an archer. Hey, how about you die? So, during the last time, I discovered that fates reward a lot of experience. Like, a lot of experience. Um, so I should do any that aren't, um, you know, just keep doing this thing for 15 minutes. Anyway, um... Did that do it? Fate complete. Um, anyway. Uh, so we're almost to the camp. And I will be there next time on Zet Nakin Adam. Uh, if uh, you enjoyed what you saw, you should leave us a like and comment in the description below. Links to our social media and Kofi are in the description. You should leave leave that comment in the comments section. Don't Don't hack us and leave your comments in our description. Um, please. Uh, also, if you didn't enjoy what you saw, you should let us know how we can do better. Um, so that we can suck less. Uh, anyway, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!